It's Kiki and today I'm going to be showing you guys 14 tips to pay attention in class and focus better on your lessons. Short attention span is a huge problem in students. The reason is focusing is not just about keeping your attention on something, it is also about not concentrating on everything else happening around you. And this is why I decided to make an updated version on how to pay attention in class. Because it will really shock you how much more you'll be able to understand once you learn exactly how to keep your focus. So without further ado, let's jump right into these tips. The first tip is to understand what the main idea, concept or topic of the class is. If you have a semester planner as such that tells you what you'll be learning in that one class or in that week, you'll be able to focus on the main ideas of the class. If you don't have a semester planner, but you know what you'll be tested on or what you'll need to know in order to pass that class, keep them in mind as you'll be able to pick out the key information. This leads me to my next tip, which is to know what to take notes on. This is very similar to the previous tip, but knowing what the key information is will help drastically when taking notes, as you will have all the information you need. This is extremely beneficial when you want to pay attention in class, as if you focus on trying to take notes on the key information, you'll find yourself listening intently to the class. The third tip is to take thorough notes. When I say thorough notes, I don't mean to take notes on every single thing that the teacher or professor is saying. I mean to take thorough, meaningful notes about the key information. A great tip if you write slowly but want to take more notes is to make everything abbreviated and eliminate words such as the, a, and n. As long as you can understand your notes, you can write with very poor grammar or as messily as you want. I will cover more of this later on in the video. The fourth tip is to read through your notes after every class. After every class or after school, always go back and read through your notes as a daily revision. I highly, highly recommend this as it increases your understanding of the class and makes exam season much, much easier. Recently, I have been taking very messy but effective notes and after school, I would somehow find the time to rewrite it all but more concise and neater. This is my version of this daily revision and I can tell you that after doing this, I don't need to revise during exam season as much as before and I've already understood and memorized the content. The next tip is to mark the things that you do not understand. A major problem in not being able to pay attention could be that you don't understand the content of the class. Whenever there is anything that you don't understand, mark it with things such as sticky notes and go back at the end of the day and either research it on the internet or ask your teacher or professor or your peers. I've been doing this and I find that this helps me to stay on track and therefore focus better in class. The sixth tip is to always ask any questions that you have. This is similar to the previous one, but if you have any questions during class about something that you don't understand, always, always ask. Many of you in my previous video said that you don't feel comfortable asking during class, so I suggest you write down the questions on a sticky note, then make sure to ask your teacher or professor at the end of class, or you can even email them. If you're not comfortable in doing that either, you can either ask any of your classmates or even look on the internet. The seventh tip is to sit near the people who are productive. Stay away from people who can distract you such as your friends and instead opt for a better crowd of people who are productive. 
Sitting near people who are productive and pay attention in class is so, so useful as it is easy to do yet extremely effective. Additionally, try to sit near the front of the class, in the middle and away from doors and windows. The next tip is to sit up straight. If you find yourself distracted and unable to pay attention, try just sitting up straight and having good posture. Laying back in your chair or sitting too comfortably can be one of the reasons you may be feeling sleepy or tired or distracted. Sitting up straight actually helps for you to focus on what is in front of you. You can also use this as a technique when you are studying and you can't focus. The ninth tip is to find a source of motivation. This is probably one of the most important tips of this video. Motivation is absolutely essential if you want to have better focus. Some examples of motivation can include your final result, getting a much better mark than before, or a little treat or some money to use. Having that little bit of motivation can completely change how much attention you pay in class for the better. The 10th tip is to get rid of physical distractions. This is something that I absolutely stand by. Although it may seem obvious, it is still very overlooked and one of the main causes of being distracted. The obvious physical distraction is a phone. However, another physical distraction that you should be mindful of are the tabs and other windows on your laptop. For example, if you were watching YouTube the other day and it was still on one of your tabs on your laptop, close it immediately as it can slowly distract you from your classes. The 11th tip is don't check the time. Have you ever had to read something like an article and saw how long it was, then decided not to read it? It's the same principle. If you check the time and see that you have only been in the class for 10 minutes, it's very likely that you will feel unmotivated and not want to concentrate. Try to resist checking the time as this can decrease motivation. The next tip is to participate in discussions. This doesn't necessarily mean to participate in class and putting your hand up. Although that is very beneficial, this is a great option for those who aren't as confident in public speaking or find it hard to participate in class. Try to have a discussion with peers or even family members about the topic you are learning currently. If you have a study group, take some time with your study group to just talk about the topic. This can really increase your knowledge and in turn help you pay better attention and it's quite fun to do and easy to do. The 13th tip is to do everything the professor or teacher suggests you to do. This is especially useful for the class that you struggle with or don't understand. A lot of the time, your professor or teacher may tell you to go on a specific website or research more about the topic or um, some practice questions. If you are really struggling to pay attention in class because it is difficult, I would really recommend always doing what they suggest. The final tip is to eat healthy, drink water and get enough sleep. Has hunger, headaches or exhaustion ever stopped you from paying attention? This is why you need to keep up with your daily necessities. If you are always hungry, eat protein such as eggs for breakfast and nuts as a snack. If you get headaches often, aim to drink at least 2 litres of water or 8 cups of water a day. If you are always tired, attempt to get at least 8 hours of sleep. However, I know that this is very difficult, so a good alternative is to just sleep and wake up earlier. I'm naturally a morning person, but if you aren't a morning person and you want to be a morning person, comment down below if you want a whole video on how to be a morning person. So I hope you guys enjoyed and this hopefully helped you pay better attention in class. The two main reasons why you cannot focus is that the class is too easy or too hard for you. If you want more tips on how to pay attention in class, check out my previous how to pay attention in class video, which I'll link up in the cards. 
If you liked this video, make sure to subscribe as I post more study tips videos as well as stationery and bullet journal videos. And also make sure to give this video a thumbs up and comment any videos you would like to see on my channel. Bye guys, happy studying! Some examples of motivation. Motivation. <laughs> <sighs>